Hi. Picture this. Early morning in a small town in Kerala. A kid stands on a balcony. Eyes full of wonders. Dreaming not of toys, but of machines. Every idea is not born in a lab. Some begins in the quiet corners of everyday life. With nothing but curiosity and a question. What if I could build something the world has never seen before? And yes, this is that story. Hello everyone, let me take you back to the balcony in Kodikot, Kerala. I was in class 6 when my father returned home after watching a movie from a theatre. He started telling me about the brand new mall in our city with four theatres inside it. It was the first multiplex theatre here. As a cinephile and as a projector fanatic, that story didn't just inspire me. It ignited. The very next day, I didn't go out to play. I stayed in and built a miniature model of a movie theater. It had seats made of sponge, a balcony and a small white glowing screen all made from cardboard and pure imagination. I took it school after my vacation. I saw my friends, teachers, even seniors gather around with wide eyes. And that was the first time I created that made something people say wow. In my 7th standard, my chemistry teacher showed me a YouTube video of a tree replanting robot and she asked, can you make this? I said yes without a clue how. Everyone around me warned me, it's too risky, too ambitious, but I believed that I could replicate what I saw. After a week of sleepless fingering with scrap parts, I finished it. When I showcased it at our school exhibition, the room lit up. I saw the faces light up again. And that's when I realized I don't just like making things, I live for it. Till 8th grade, I used to replicate projects that already existed. I used to watch TV shows and replicate them. But one day, my parents casually said, why can't you build something original? Why innovate instead of imitate? Why imitate instead of innovate? That question hit me harder than any exam. From then on, I made a rule. I will only create projects with purpose, impact and originality. And in my ninth standard, I found my first obsession. Projectors, the tech behind this image. I was fa always fascinated. How does the light turn into an image? At that time, we didn't have an internet at home. My parents didn't use smartphone at that time. So I had no option to find out the principles behind projection. But one day, I deassembled an old pair of binocular lenses and I was just playing around with the lenses in front of a white wall when it all happened. I moved the lens back and forth in front of a white wall and suddenly an image was formed on the white wall. It was upside down. When I looked, it was a tree. I was, see, I, I was seeing the tree through a small window, projected perfectly into the white wall. That was an eye-opening moment for me. I just had discovered the principle behind projection, not by watching a video, but simply by playing, observing, and wondering. In 10th, a self-sustainable electric bike, which was a real failure for me, by class 12, a smart portable air conditioner which, which operate in less, in less energy. And this got selected for the national level science exhibition. Everyone around me thought I was way onto the top. The Indian Science Congress, which is the topest program in India. Unfortunately, that year's theme for Indian Science Congress was agriculture. And my air conditioner couldn't qualify that. I missed an opportunity presenting it to the Prime Minister. I missed the Rashtrapati Bhavan invite. I missed a dream. I was just 17. And this big disappointment turned into my, one of the biggest regret in my life, but also my biggest spark. It was a morning, January 2nd, 2020. Something magical happened. I was taking a bath. And yes, best ideas come from there. And suddenly, I got a visual of a Futuristic coconut tree, coconut harvesting robot, climbing the tree and harvesting coconut 
safely, efficiently and tirelessly. I was drawn to into, into it. Within the next 10 minutes, I understand the impact and the potential of the robot going to make into our, into our real, real world, into, in our society. And that day, I made a decision. I will only create this robot as my next project. And I'm not going to Google anything about the existing designs because the vision was so unique and futuristic. I had to keep this as a minimum benchmark and think about this. Because I didn't want to be influenced. I just trusted the vision. I just needed innovation. By 2023, I refused my job offer and I decided to start my company. And everyone around me thought I was crazy. But what I remembered was my regret when I was 17. And I wasn't going to live with another one. By 2024, I started developing the first prototype of Cocoa Boat. And by August 2024, I registered my first startup, AlterSage, with a few people who believed in my mission. Our CTO, Gogul Krishnan. Our design engineer, Gogul Krishna. Our head of AI, Alosh Denny. Imagine a future where people operate farming robots using a console. Or what if they are fully autonomous? Where innovation doesn't come from big labs, but from balconies, backyard, or even from bathroom brainstorms. But let me be clear. This is not, a des this is not my destination. This is just a beginning. My ultimate real mission is to explore the vast possibilities of physical AI where hard intelligence meet hardware, where codes become motion, where machines don't de just exist, they serve. Physical AI, which I truly believe is the next great leap in the human-robot collaboration. I'm not stopping here. One of my wildest dreams since 10th standard has been to develop an interplanetary vehicle. Not a spaceship, not a starship, but something more relatable like a car or a bike for space exploration. A machine that could navigate the surface of Mars, Mars or Moon or even galaxies just like we ride on a road here on Earth. And beyond that, I always dream of working in defense, energy sectors, healthcare and climate te technologies. Because if the innovation doesn't serve the planet, protect the people, uplift the forgotten, then what are we really building? The future is wide open. I don't have all the answers. But I have some vision, the fire and the will to chase them. Once I was a kid with a sponge made seat and a cardboard screen on a balcony. And today we build the world's most advanced coconut harvesting robot. To anyone with an idea, don't wait. Innovate not just to impress, innovate to impact. Because thinking big doesn't start from a lab. It starts from a it sometime. It's, it may start from a cardboard screen on a balcony. It starts with a spark and ends with a future you never imagined.